Make sure you fully understand this problem. Notice we're going 14 miles upstream, so my distance upstream is 14, in the same time as 16 miles downstream, and I let x be what we are looking for, the speed of the boat in still water. Now, if the current is 2 miles per hour, when we're going upstream, the current is hurting our speed, and so our actual rate will be the rate in still water minus the current. When we're going downstream, the rate of the stream or the rate of the water is helping us, so our actual rate will be x plus the 2 miles per hour. Then we'll finish out this grid by using the formula distance equal rate times time, Time is distance over rate, so this time is distance 14 over rate x minus 2. This time is distance 16 over x plus 2. What have we not used yet? We haven't used the fact that we are told that the times are the same, and that's how I'll translate to an equation. This time, 14 over x minus 2 equals this time 16 over x plus 2. Notice we do have a proportion, so I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply. That 16 times x minus 2, that would be 16x minus 32 is equal to 14 times x plus 2, that's 14x plus 28. Now, if I subtract 14x from both sides, I'll have 2x, and then if I also add 32 to both sides, you may want to take more steps than this, but if I add 32 to both sides, I'll have 60, and then how do I solve for x? I divide both sides by 2, and x is 15. So what was x? The speed in still water. The speed in still water, excuse me, 60 divided by 2 is not 15. 60 divided by 2 is 30. So the speed in still water is 30 miles per hour.